Welcome back. Hey, everybody. Maybe we're just talking a little too fast for you, so we're going to slow it down. And we're going to shorten the episode. So we're going to slow it down and we're going to speed it up. Virtually, you'll hear very few words. We're not going to throw too many words at you because we think we're overwhelming you. Let's just take a step back. Guess what, dude? What? This this person on Instagram, I sent him the I sent him the uh, link to the YouTube's. Yep, yep. Yeah, he probably he, they definitely were lying, but he sent back. You guys are funny. Made <laughs> my day. Made my fucking day. This yeah. The whole rest, the whole rest of the day, you're just shooting jokes off at people, like confidently. Well, that was it. Was ten minutes ago, but I feel great. Oh fuck yeah, dude! Oh no, I know. Oh yeah. It's huge. It's a huge win for... So we're funny, so uh, let's just fucking get into it. Let's just be funnier than all hell. Hit the ground rolling. Hi, everyone. Stay. Fuck you. Stay. We've got Thanks a rep- reputation to uphold. Welcome to Interesting. Interesting.com. Interesting 3Gs. I'm Luke. My name is... young man is young David. You know, the first joke that I tried to tell, that didn't land. The what? First joke I tried to tell didn't land. I, I had underwear on and I was trying to stand up and like show them. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days, it's just going to be nothing, nothing on. I'm going to put some. Actually, what happened was I was washing my parents' dog and uh, just I was just soaking wet. So my pants were still wet. Do you wash them in the tub? Yeah, he's big, he's, isn't he? Or yeah, she? he's like a fucking husky, and um, I wouldn't recommend getting a husky. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I mean, it's like a wolf. I'll just leave it. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, it's a vibe. People, you know, it's a whole thing. It's a verb. But uh, this is not the Cyber Monday special. Um, Cyber and- Tuesday. Um, we're going to spend the majority of this podcast looking for good deals. We had a lot of good ideas. We were going to look for good deals and you guys were going to be a part of it. It was going to be an Instagram live thing. We didn't, we didn't do it. Um, and then we were going to basically write a screenplay and then speak it. Me and Luke were going to read it, but I think that would be harder than all fuck. Like we would need a few weeks to prepare that. The execution, yeah, there's probably going to be some, there would have to be some sort of rehearsals. Point being, the ideas are flowing, so don't give up on us yet. Please don't. And will someone, for the love of God, DM us and let us know if you want us to do the live things? I think we're going to do them again anyway, because fuck you, but. Hey, $500 prize to the only person who fucking messages us, so. <laughs> we're not going to person who messages us gets all the GoFundMe money. <laughs> We're just crushing it, dude. We are up to $55 on that. Hey, hey, listen to me. If you're going to tell me that we've raised money to buy a billboard, any amount of money makes me feel happy. Any dollar amount to get a win at this point. But it's funny because uh, the goal was $10,000. And we're like, no way we'll ever hit that. Like, no way. But we were going to try. We were willing to try. Well, we decided that maybe we should shoot for two billboards. The goal is now $20,000. Okay? We've just upped the ante. So we lower it to 3500 and that's still, that's still like, like just as unrealistic. Under- I'm echoing over there. God, don't do this to me. <laughs> no, I think it was just uh, the way that the mic was close to your computer at a certain point. But I think we're good now. I can't hear myself. Good call. Um, but um, the, point, the point of that joke was uh, $3,500 might as well be $10,000 because that's still a hell of a fucking goal. It might as well be infinity. <laughs> yeah. Unattainable. It's like getting $100 when you're four years old. There's just no way in hell you're ever going to find $100. I know some of you listening have rich parents, and I know they have nothing to spend their money on. Yep. But tell them or, you got a sick friend or, a, you know, tell them, make, I don't know, someone died. Eh, that's it just takes bad. one rich person, one rich person, to make our our entire campaign successful. I know, thirty five hundred dollars. <laughs> Yikes! 
It's a lot of it's a lot of hooch. All right. Uh, welcome to interesting.com. Thank hey, you, David. For Stay a while. Please. Water's warm. Come on in. Happy holidays. Just uh, close your eyes and picture yourself in a hot tub with Luke and I, and, and we're just talking, and, and you're so high that you can't talk, but you're listening to us. That's that's what I want you to close your eyes and picture. Bro, I just thought about – I thought about literally yesterday. Getting drunk, like, in the snow, in a hot tub, fucking dope. There's just oh, it's awesome. Going on, it's know? awesome. Might as well add weed to the mix. Maybe a little meth, but that's a great – you got a lot of sensations. I used to I used to say that's how I wanted to go when I was like 80. I wanted to go like on ecstasy in a hot tub, just like having sex, and I just want to have a heart attack and die. That would be a nice way to die. It just would like be a way to die. Pure until, until the moment where you're like, oh fuck, I'm dying. And then I think that all of your like ecstasy would probably be like, oh fuck, I'm dying. Well, possibly, but then I also got the DMT going. From the oh, well, yeah, so there you go. But then I might shit myself. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think that's do, how I want to die the, Do you want the party around you to continue, or, or do you want people to be sad and crying and, like, a whole... <laughs> As I take my last breath, I want everyone to think I'm, like, still, like, chugging a beer or something. I just want them all cheering for me, like... <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's fucking with us. He's not dead. And then, like, three days go by, they're like, all right. We still think he might be fucking with us. I think, I think he's definitely dead. <laughs> I thought he was taking a face down nap in the hot tub. Jesus. Oh, man. All right. So, uh, coronavirus uh, still going up. Uh, let's check out the numbers, though. Oh, it's my favorite part of the week. It's this not very favorite. good this week. They're not, or they are? You know, they looked really good, and then uh, they look really bad now. So let me. The first time they looked good. Technically, it's been nine days since we checked. So I'm going to go last nine days because last seven days does not reflect. You know, it, it's not accurate data. Twenty-two. Do we got twenty-two subs on YouTube? Just really? for the numbers. For the numbers. Is it three? All right. That's three more subs. We're growing. How We're many views do you get on YouTube? I'll see you at the top, PewDiePie. I'll see you there. See, that dude, he's only got a hundred million, but that's nothing we can't obtain. I think after our first thirty-five hundred billboard, I think I think you're holding the mic too close to the computer. I'm not going. How about now? Test, test. Yep, sounds good. Test, test. Oh, okay. Um, well, I see why that? Ha okay, that makes sense. Um, for some reason, it's not loading. We're having technical difficulties. I imagine it's because there's way too much data to load. For I think all... that's definitely what's happening the interactions with the site so we're just gonna yeah look oh here it is, Ooh, this is let's bad. let's go nine days ago so today is the eighth the last time we looked at oh. the day last time we looked at the data was on the 30th so let's go to the 30th to the eighth let's check it out oh whoa whoa eighth as in today Whoa! Whoa! Somebody you watched. Fucking me? Somebody watched an episode. I didn't watch it. I mean, I watched it, but it. Yeah, it, but I've watched them before, and it says zero. Yeah, it, it doesn't Whatever. count us because it knows our IP's address or some some kind of shit. But this is this is Whoa. real. Why is that down? How is that down eight percent? How in the hell is that less than? That's the most time we've ever had. So wait, hold on. 46, so 46 visits. Oh, I can, sorry, echoing. 46 visits in the last, that time frame, right? Yep, the last eight, nine days. Visitors is up 8%. Holy, dude, we're fucking murdering. Dude, we are famous, famous, famous. Ooh. Publicist, publicist, publicist. <laughs> All right, well, keep it up. We don't. We have nothing negative to say about you this week, other than um, you're not bad. Yeah, you you've improved on in my in my heart. Now you've yet to donate us money, so damn. And we can see something something got him going on these days, and then not so much on these days. So we need more of these days out of you. Yeah, 
You think maybe it was the TikToks? Now I'm echoing, dude. Are you? I don't know. It's fine. I don't care. Try. You're fine. All right. I'm psyched, though. I'm it's psyched. fucking huge. I'm psyched out of my effing mind. God, dude. All right. Uh, so, let's get into what? some Christmas content because I thought this was interesting. I always hear the term white elephant. I never know what it means. The game. Tur- turns out this king of CM, now Thailand, he used to give away rare albino elephants to people he didn't like. Um, because they would have to try to keep this animal alive and they wouldn't be able to do it. So it's like basically oh giving somebody uh, a gift that like you can't get rid of, uh, but it's not like it's not, nothing that you want. That's pretty dope. That's got some layers. That's great. That king was just awesome. He's like, I'm rich, I'm funny, uh, and I'm very clever. I'm, I'm very good at like fucking people over. And then it kind of, yeah, and then it transformed into a game about, it, yeah, you kind of like try to screw the person out of their presence, right? Yeah, yep. That's so awesome. T- Wait, so Ireland, did they have Christmas in Ireland? No, not Ireland. See, it says CM, and then it turned into Thailand. Oh, you said Thailand. Jesus yeah. fucking Christ, dude. It's pronounced, a- it's pronounced Thailand. Thailand. But that's what I want to know. Do they have Christmas in, Th- in Thailand? Uh, well, I think Christmas comes from Christianity. I don't know if Thai no, people... Dude. Coca-Cola invented Christmas. Listen to me. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. But I want to know when Coca-Cola. Like Coca-Cola invent Christmas. Everybody knows that. <laughs> I, I didn't. I, I, don't think, I don't think that's correct. Oh. But they invented Santa Claus, right? Isn't that right? <laughs> You're going to have to get into some of this at some point. We can't just keep sides Ritz, and throwing Ritz new... Ritz is responsible for the Easter Bunny, and Coca-Cola is responsible <laughs> for Santa Claus. Nabisco, Easter... <laughs> Fucking <laughs> all the major Johnson and Johnson. invented Christmas all the holidays. No, uh, bro, I'm dead serious. About Give what me. part? Santa. I'm looking it up, but here. When did I want to know when that turned into a Christmas thing? Like oh, never mind, guys. The first thing it says Coca-Cola did not create Santa Claus. I didn't uh, think they they did. had a big role in shaping the jolly character we know today. So I think they created part of his image of like the red coat, but like obviously he's Saint Nick, right? Old Saint Nick. Yeah, so he, I, I so don't like, know the Nick, what the only saint that I can really see a direct line toward like creation was Saint Patrick for Saint Patrick's Day. No, Saint Nick. That's Santa Claus. Yeah, but what did he do? Was he just a guy who loved giving away presents? Okay, did you ever celebrate Saint Nicholas Day? You put uh, your shoes out and your parents CCD, put like... I think CCD might have forced me to. So that... I literally just learned about this the other day because my mom brought us... Like, she's real lonely right now. So she celebrated Saint... She needs anything. <laughs> she's going for it. She's digging deep. But Saint Nicholas used to put coins in the poor girl's shoes that were like being... Were they just getting married off? Like, you know, people would just trade away their like riches and their wife and their daughters for like land. You know, whatever. Mm. But then this guy named St. Nicholas was putting money in these women's shoes to help them get out of that. And that's where St. Nick started. His, like, giving thing. That's where St. Nicholas Day comes from. Specifically women's shoes? I think. I think that's what my mom said. They might have been, like, nuns or something. No, because they no, she said they were getting married. But anyway, haven't you heard the songs? They say old St. Nick. He's well, Santa. I, I mean, yeah, I thought that was just a nickname like Papa Claus or, you know, just go down the list of things you call Santa Claus. Yeah, but anyway, like in like 1600, I don't I maybe like BC, 16 BC, a guy came up with Coca-Cola. This was before Christ. Correct. That's when they came up with Santa Claus. Correct. It was before Christ. It was so Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola. Christ. St. Nick. <laughs> All right. Okay. I see the timeline. That makes sense. Before. That makes sense. Okay. Pretty easy timeline, Dave. That makes sense. Somewhere right. in the middle, there's some Taiwanese white elephant stuff, but. So enough with that. Uh, this is the one that's just got my mind fucking mush right now. Is this some more Martian stuff? This. Okay. <laughs> oh, I saw this. I fucking saw something like this. Today. Well, you laugh, dude, but NBC reported this. Dude, I don't. What, what does that mean? Look at this, NBC. 
Israeli, and then type in aliens. So the former Israeli space security chief basically says that we're working with aliens right now. Bro, it's either, it's either we are, it's either we are and we're being hid from it, which is possible, or this whole thing is just to fucking fuck with people. Did you read the article? I, I don't know. I don't know how to read. Well, basically, been... he says he has no reason to lie about this. He's like, he's passed Trump? it. He's not, not in a position of power. He has no reason to even talk about this. But basically, they didn't want to tell us five years ago when he was in power because they didn't want to cause mass hysteria. But now he feels like people are ready for it because we get so many things happening. Like, so the world's so fucked that he doesn't think that it would cause people to freak out too bad. So, but the article says. The article says that we are actively working with an alien civilization who lives on Mars right now. Pixar didn't happen, Dave. What do you want from me, dude? There's an echo. Is NBC, not good, enough? Is NBC not good enough for you? I mean, I don't even know what's good anymore. NBC has a deal with Notre Dame, so I'm pretty cool with NBC. But... I'm. At, this is what I'm saying to you. This is what I'm saying to you. I know it's NBC, and I know it's news, and it's an article. But what I'm saying to you, Dave, is that do you 100% believe it? I'm leaning toward maybe. <laughs> okay. Well, that I'm in the middle. I'm just in the maybes. I might be leaning back. Maybe you might be in front of me. Because the United States also recently announced Space Force. Which is a real existing military branch. Where, <laughs> Netflix show. Yeah, it's a Netflix show, but it's real. We legitimately have a space force. Dude, this is where like this is where you kind of start to go crazy. This might make you go crazy. So here's what Trump said. Space is going to be the future, both in terms of defense and offense. We're now the leader on space. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Thank you, Darth Vader. Thank you for that. <laughs> We are now the leader on space. <laughs> we, Trump, There's a, we're a fucking reality show, dude. There's some aliens sitting on leader, Mars. For him to think alien we're popcorn. leader on something we have no nothing, no information about. <laughs> I mean, that, I mean, could you expect anything less from old Donnie? He, it's just like he just, it's just, it's just shit. It's just like, like we've, we've been to space once. He's like, okay, so we're the best at it. <laughs> we are we are the only ones who have been. So we are the best. We are in space. Oh my god. But so apparently there's some contract with the United States and some Martian civilization. Um so some shit's happening. What are the Martians called? They, Isn't are they that from an Mars? interesting term. Like, does Martian mean they're from Mars? That's a great point. I don't know. It kind of sounds like it does, right? It might Martian might be a, like a derivative of just alien because like alien no, doesn't no, necessarily... no, no, martian is an inhabitant of the planet mars okay there you go you're right but here's okay but i don't understand that we just found these guys on mars we made a deal that they're going to keep quiet while we just keep it quiet on earth no so the deal is they can run experiments on earth like whatever scientific experiments and they signed some contract, which why would they sign a contract with us? Because why don't they just fucking take over Earth and do whatever they want with us? We're, we're living. We're in a we're in a movie, Dave. At this point, we're in a fucking movie. I mean, come on, this is insane, and I love it, and I might believe it. That's why I'm. This is where you like really do ride those lines of sanity. Like you don't know. <laughs> this is where like, especially with, like deep fakes and fake news and real news and. Seeing is believing, but seeing isn't believing anymore. So, like, at a certain point, you you crazy. almost have to become and you have to come to a position of power to know any sort of truth. Exactly, you're like so, one of those like Illuminati people. So, scratch the billboard idea, Luke. We're running for office. <laughs> we're a dual team. We're dual threat. No, we're not running for president and vice president. We're running for, we're running for co-presidents. <laughs> what, if, what if our whole campaign, the world, not America. Our whole campaign was, we'll tell you the truth when we get there. We don't know what it's going to be, but when we get there, God damn it, you'll know what the fucking truth is.
That's actually good, dude. Like the world's been the world leaders have been lying to you people. We know they've been lying. Vote for us. When we get into office, we'll let you know all the lies. <laughs> we don't <laughs> care. Lies. We don't care what happens. We just want you to know. <laughs> we swear we'll tweet out all the lies. We'll tweet out all the lies. <laughs> Book of Secrets exists. National Campaign Treasury is based on true story. <laughs> Jurassic Park, true story. It's all true. It's all true. <laughs> what the fuck's going on? There's just, I mean, why? And then what I what I was thinking would be cool. What if there was like a blood test you could run to find out if you're a Martian? Right. Whoa. And then what? we start finding we start finding out like maybe Ellen DeGeneres is a, is a, is a Martian. Zuckerberg Martian. Oh, Zuckerberg is like King Lizard, dude. He is a hundred percent Martian. Zuckerberg might be a fucking Jup- Jupitonian. He might yeah. not be <laughs> Martians. He's too weird to be from Mars, man. I don't even think that. Exactly. He's from Mars. They probably like get that. We don't claim that fucker. <laughs> yeah. He fucked up your social media. He's not gonna fuck up our social media. Yeah, Mars, he had Facebook Mars, on Mars, Jupiter. It's like really nice. It's like really good social media. It's like this positive. It's just meant for like great things. But then we got Zuckerberg. He fucked up our social media. God, dude, fuck. This is insane. We're in a simulation. We're living a movie. I don't know what to think about that. It's wild. Frightening. It's hilarious. It's confusing. And it's really hilarious. It's oh my and that's, God. and that's why I think they're gonna start just dropping this shit. The the Navy released uh, images of UFOs. I mean that happened. The Navy, if that's not proof enough for you, Navy UFO. I, know, I, I I'm not saying you're wrong, but we gotta make sure we gotta know what we're talking about because doesn't UFO just mean unidentified? <laughs> no. <laughs> Like alien, this is from Popular Mechanics. The Navy, this thing was just floating up in the atmosphere, bro. It's a spaceship. It's a it's fucking a spaceship. spaceship, bro. It's fucking Thanos, dude. He's gonna come fucking blow the universe in half. Hey, who goes, me or you, if Thanos snaps his fingers? 50 50, bro. Maybe we both just luck out. Maybe we both luck out, but if one of us goes. We just have to promise to each other we're still going to put out a podcast every week. Podcast every week, and you need to leave gaps for the other person to talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'll end this segment now. Uh, aliens we're exist. Aliens we're exist. Oh, unbelievable. Hey, okay. everybody. Oh, all right. Yeah, I don't know. Seriously, people, this is great shit. You should be DMing us your opinions on this alien shit. I want to know. What's our total? 55 people go donate for our billboard. Don't you want to see some cool shit on a billboard? Come on. Come on, people. All right. Funny-ass shit. We're done pushing stuff on you, minus the fact that we still want you to interact with all of our social media. Uh, Absolutely. I Literally everything. Buy our shirts. Did we run that ad yet? Buy our shirts. I love that our intro takes 30 minutes. Yeah. It's real good at the end. Not bad? Real good at the end. Beginning was atrocious. Keep it rolling. God damn it. Shotsky, right. Shotsky for the Martians. Dude, well, I mean, so we're saying... That we discovered Martians with rovers on Mars. Because we've never been to Mars, right? No, no human has been to Mars. So we're communicating with Martians via rovers. So Here's what Mar- I like to think happened. The Martians found us. Oh, okay. Maybe that's right. They're, They're like probably- watching us and shit. And somehow, some way, they figured out, make a deal with the U.S. government. I don't know. That, that's where it gets all hairy. I mean, I want it, dude. Call me crazy, but I want it. I want it to be real. No, I 100% want it to be real because then I want to, yeah, I want to be a part. I want to have a lightsaber. I want it all. But I want to know what happens next. Like, how sick would it be to be, to, even if it is like uh, the world's ended, how sick would it be to be here for like when shit hits the fan? Oh, I, yeah. No, that's, that's the ultimate FOMO right there. Like, yeah, you're going gonna, you're gonna to miss out on this party. Like, you get to witness the end of mankind. I mean, fuck. 
I don't know. Is that what you mean? The apocalypse? I don't know if it's like, like, does that make us fucked up to think to like want to at least see what happens? I don't think it does. I think that no, as stupid as it sounds, it's literally FOMO. That's what it is. Yeah, it's the just fear of like not knowing what is to be. It's the, that's what death is. You don't want to yeah. die because you don't want to not exist. Yeah, like what if something really, 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 really cool happens and you miss out? Dude, I always think like whenever whenever there's like a big game coming up, I'm like, if I die, I'm not going to see this game. <laughs> it's like, it's so stupid. <laughs> it's so pathetic. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> All right, Luke. You've made I'm not going to see another game play tomorrow gonna, if I die tonight. I'm going to need five more days out of you or you're going to miss the Husker game. <laughs> Luke, just hang in there. <laughs> I know you're depressed. <laughs> Don't get any ideas. There's a gun in the corner. Oh, man. Shot. You don't, you don't own a gun, right? I have to ask. Uh, cause... Um, let me think. No. All right. Here's to William Dutton. William Dutton. Here's to the Martians. God help us all. I mean, also just comedy. Comedy, dude. Before that, dude, I'm actually riding high tonight. I got some Irish cream. Real great. You're just right. Bailey's? <laughs> it's called Carol Lands. Is that coffee creamer? Or is that even, it's 17% alcohol. Is it whiskey or is it creamer? <laughs> it's creamer. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> There's alcohol in it. We'll count it. I've had a couple rough weeks. Um, just literal comedy <laughs> if like our spokesperson for our, our – he is. Our spokesperson for our country for, to the Martians right now is Donald Trump. Yeah. Yep. It's like, oh, my God. God. I mean, that would explain where he gets off, though. That would explain the fact that he has this ego to the moon because he's literally communicating. <laughs> he's the spokesperson for Earth to a Martian society. Yeah, he's like the most important. Well, he he. what did he say? We own space? We are the leaders in space. <laughs> <laughs> so he definitely thinks he's got some sort of edge on Russia and China. <laughs> he's like, look. Look, look, look. I will send laser fire on Russia if you fucking betray me. Talk shit, Russia. My Martian <laughs> buddies over on Mars yeah. will come for you. You ever had a laser gun? God, uh, dude. Buy our shirts. Buy our shirts. Fuck. All right, Luke. How are you feeling about this week's five? What do we got? No. No Pokemon this week. <laughs> but I did. I thought this was funny. <laughs> I don't got any week on. Look at this. Look at this guy. Look at this article. I can't even read it. It's so small. You know, dude, I actually, I glanced at this before the show and I was wondering how this tied into this. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Luke's lost his mind. <laughs> lost his mind. Look at this guy. No. This guy, I want to be this guy. Not really, but part of me. I don't know. Who knows? He married a sex doll. He married a sex doll, bro. And now, I mean, on its surface, like, what are we saying there? It's kind of funny. Kind of, you know, it's like, well, what a loser. But like, what's going on there? What's like, I, I want to know, was there some tax loophole that he knows about? Or like, what the <laughs> fuck's happening? <laughs> he made, she's the, she makes all the money in the family. So she has the life insurance. And then if he just kills her, he gets Did all the ex-wife like hate sex dolls. And he just married it to spite her to say like, fuck you. This like, how do you like me now? Oh, God. yeah. Here's you, the you, you, you posted the article and you didn't read it? You read the headline. That's it. That's all I needed because <laughs> my head, my questions in my head. Listen to me. What? <laughs> Listen to me. This is going to get more real, right? These sex dolls are not going to be sex dolls anymore. They're just going to be dolls, and then they're going to be robots. Okay? You want to talk about West aliens? World. You're talking about Westworld? I mean, yeah, in a, in a, in a, in a sense. I mean, nothing, nothing is off the table anymore. No, it seems like... You just like told me aliens exist. 100%. Nothing's off the table. With AR, VR, and this technology... That's and just, the thing, dude. If aliens are out there, think of the dope stuff they could bring to us if, they're, if they decide to be friendly. I mean, but what? why haven't they already? How long have we known them? You said five years we've known them? Apparently, that's what uh, Israel whatever says. What but, dude, do you remember... On a previous episode, I talked about the Canadian prime minister says the same shit. That he met the met the Martians, or you knew? Yeah, look, Canadian 
<laughs> I'm Lynn, Mr. Aliens. Bro, they're going to come for your ass. Your Google's full of conspiracies, dude. You're going to get a uh, fucking sniper bullet through the head here in about 10 minutes. And I'm just going to be sitting here traumatized. Here, I'll show you. This oh, is they how- got Dave. They got Dave. But first, we have to watch a fucking YouTube ad. That's what, That's the world that we live in. It probably makes money for the Martians, dude. Yeah, what is their currency? So uh, this guy, guy, this guy, this guy who's dead ten ways to Sunday. This is what I'm watching. He's the former prime minister of Canada. He looks like Talks he looks like a, he looks like a Civil War veteran. Well, yeah, dude. So what are we saying? Old people can't have opinions anymore. <laughs> put him on an island. <laughs> put him at home. He's too old to talk anymore. He's uh, fucking loopy. This guy. Oh boy. So anyway, what I'm telling you is another powerful world leader is saying some shit about aliens too. Freaky, right? Freaky Friday. Which was which what makes it possibly real. But that's what I'm wondering. Have we always been getting fucked by the world leaders, you know, just to keep society at bay for all sorts of reasons, you know? Like, you know, like all the world leaders are pedophiles, but no one knows, or all this weird shit. But is this just a way? Are they just being like, all right, we're going to give them some, we're just going to give them aliens in 2020. That'll keep them busy. But they have no way of proving aliens don't exist. So we'll yeah. we got computer generated images and enough. <laughs> They're like, we're about five to 10 years out from making them believe Jesus has risen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're not that far off from that technology being a reality. <laughs> <laughs> They just show, they literally could just give us a movie and say it's real. They could. They really could. I mean, think of the movies you watch. Are you, are you like alluding to like the, the moon landing? Yeah. I mean, I don't know about the moon. Like, see, even then, I, who knows? Yeah. Like, I think I want to believe the moon landing's real. I think we all do. I think I do. The, but I, I, the- I, I am more apt to believing things that I'm told versus not believing things that like to conspire conspiring against why is that fake and bullshit like that. So I'm keen to just believe this Israeli and Canadian prime minister and be like, that's fucking crazy. I know, bro. Are, are we being sheep though? That's the point. Who knows? They just hurting us. Yeah. Trying to, get us to buy the new iPhone. Who knows? They're definitely trying to get us to buy the new iPhone. I'm pretty sure Jeff Bezos could be a Martian. He's got like 19 gazillion dollars. <laughs> you yeah, probably so, eat like Martian food and shit. I wonder what Martians use as money. Bitcoin, bro. I'm bro, dude. Bitcoin fell today. Yeah, but I'm I'm scheming right now. I'm plotting. I'm waiting for the time. Uh, and I'm going big money. Go all in on Bitcoin, cause I'm telling you. Well, I'm not gonna go all in. Go I'm all the fuck in. Go all the fuck in. Do you understand if if I could go back and like if you would invested like a hundred dollars in Bitcoin or some crazy like that. I don't know if you would have bought one Bitcoin back in like 2009. Oh yeah. There are pennies on the dollar, dude. There was a guy who just to prove his point spent like 10,000 Bitcoin to buy a pizza, to have a pizza delivered just to prove that it worked. But back in the day, yeah, so but today that net worth of those ten thousand bitcoins that'd be like nineteen million dollars. It's like a quadrillion dollars, dude. <laughs> it's like a quadrillion dollars. He's got Martian money. No, so there's a guy out there who does have like trillions of dollars worth of Bitcoin and they don't know who owns it. But he's <laughs> just Martian. No, he's just sitting on it. <laughs> Some guy out there is just sitting on it right now. Swear to God. His name's Optimus Prime. And he's a transformer, <laughs> and he lives on Cybertron. Engage. I I don't I just don't I I'm 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 here for the ride at this point. I'm here for the ride. Same. If there's gonna be aliens all of a sudden, if you find out there are aliens, what's the first thing you do tomorrow? Um, um, I'd probably start trying to like make a music video with them or something. I mean, like, like, do we get some sort of day off? Do we get like weeks or alien day? Like, <laughs> could you like? Or so they tell us, and then and then is everyone just like, all right? So are we? I, dude, 
if it was somehow confirmed, right, that they exist, right. there'd be like marches on like embassies and <laughs> White Houses, I think, like, give us the answers. But there like, might be a full out flight battle at Area 51 of just like fucking conspiracy dorks with like potato guns and that shit. Is, that is a tough thing as a as a government to try to like think of those boardroom meetings. You're like, all right, how can we fucking tell people that they're that th- this is a thing? And every meeting they're probably like, let's table it. And it's been going on for 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> we'll tell them next week. Fuck it. It's just like on their agenda, but they don't want to talk about it. Like, yeah, just fucking. Mm, we're not going to talk about that today. Donald, I sent you that memo two months ago about mentioning the aliens in a press conference. Have you read that? Or Nope. I read every memo. <laughs> I read four times. I read one million oh, words God. per minute. What, what memo? What was that? <laughs> All right. Thoughts from our brains. Let's, uh, let's jump over to some uh, earthly matters. I got a weird one for you. If let's I can it. say it right. I got to play it right. Okay. Three guys. Have you heard this one? The three guys at the hotel? I know the answer. Well, then I'm not going to fucking say it. Why do you know every riddle? You piss me off. You just sit on riddle.com? Riddle.com. It's, it's, it's an alien? It's Riddle Tuesday, dude. I always go to riddle.com on Tuesdays. All right. What's the answer then, Martian? The $3 is... You got to account for the three dollars. So you're actually at twenty seven or at twenty eight dollars. The two dollars is with the the bus boy. So that makes thirty dollars. Well, the way I look at it is just the two dollars is just with the company still. So the company has twenty seven dollars with the tip and the twenty five. You're three there, but it's so dude. I was here. Do you want to like, talk? Do you want to tell the people just in case? All right, three guys going to a hotel. Uh, they say, do you have any rooms? The guy goes, yeah, we have one room for $30. So they go, okay. They talk to each other. They say, we'll each pay 10 We hand the guy $30. They go up to the room. A couple moments later, the guy calls over his bellhop boy, and he goes, hey, the room's actually $25. I charge them too much. Here's, a five, here's five $1 bills. Can you go take that up to them and give it back to them as a refund? So the room would be $25. So the bellhop is taking the elevator up and he thinks to himself, well, I can't split up $5 three ways and they don't know what the refund is because they don't have any of this information. So I'm just going to tell them the refund is $3 and I'll pocket $2 and we'll all go our separate ra- ways. So the bellhop comes up there. He says, your refund, actually, it was only $25. So here's $3. So that you get, each, get, each guy gets a dollar back. The bellhop has pocketed $2. So in the in the guys' minds, they each have spent nine dollars, which is twenty seven dollars total. And then if the bellhop has two of the dollars, that's twenty nine. So where'd the other dollar go? Mm-hmm. And I'm sitting there. I literally like paused my YouTube video. I stopped working, pulled out a sheet of paper. I'm like, what is going on? I started like writing right. numbers down. All right, math. Here we go. Okay. I'm twenty seven. I can figure this out. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a, it's like a weird thing. It's like a, they call it a, like a summation fallacy. Your brain just like connects to the wrong things. Yeah, it's weird. Yep, I had the same uh, reset of my brain where I was like, mm, that adds up to twenty seven dollars. Here's the thing, though. I'm pissed that you knew about that. Yeah. Um, here's an idea. Here's an idea that I thought of, so there's no way you can know it. Oh, dude, hold on real quick. That'd be a great segment. Giving Donnie riddles. Having Donald Trump answer riddles. Oh, him trying to figure out riddles? Because he'd know none of them, but he'd be like, well, I probably would have got that if you gave me more time. Like, that would be so fun. <laughs> Watch him fail miserably. He's then... like DJ Khaled, in a way. Yeah. I think DJ Never Khaled worked. and Trumpy might, might honestly... Do do like really funny riddle responses. It's so funny. It's so funny to me. All right, hit me. Return right. scam. Highly illegal. Oh, you get scammed? You get scammed, dude? No. Highly illegal. I have an idea. Highly illegal. I do not, just for the record, I would not, I have not, I will not ever do this. Well, but, it would work. but it would work. Okay, hit me. You go to a store. 
you buy something expensive but small. Okay. okay. So maybe an iPhone, maybe a laptop, maybe any anything that you want. Something small. You get Size. a receipt, you get a receipt, you go home, right? Yep. yep. You go back to the store with the receipt. You go find that item in the store and you return it at the cashier. Okay. But isn't there something on those barcodes where they scan the barcode and the receipt? I don't know. Fuck, you could be right, dude. Fuck. I don't know. Especially if you take it to like a different target. Take it to a different target. Well, we got to try now. Well, I'm not doing it. And I'm saying, Luke, you need to say very clearly for the record that this is not something that we're ever going to do. I'll be going to Target tomorrow. Just <laughs> we'll be testing this theory out. And you know what? Fuck it. We're going to go to Mars. Mar trying to blow my head off. I don't got time to care about morals anymore. What are morals? Is that a care. fucked up idea? No, I, I'm not saying, like, I, I'm, I'm not doing it for like, ah, yes, trickery. I'm just wondering if I could get it to work simply gotcha i think you that, could that is interesting dude but i gotta imagine those barcodes are down to the like you said like you got qr code like they're that shit's all i don't know you think every single item they're tracking specifically no and here's the thing this is like the pokemon thing i do i think it depends on who you get i think you get a young girl or boy it's like their fourth week there they didn't know the system you might be intimidating to them you go, look, I need to return this, man. I got to go. Like, I need this money. Like, you might make a fuss. You, you don't know what you can get away with. <laughs> the world does not operate on ones and zeros when it comes to humans, man. No. You can get away with a lot of things. Oh, dude, there's a, there's a guy at Home Depot. If you even ask him for help, anything. You can yeah. ask him, like, where's the bathroom? Nothing even to do with the product. Well, tell you what. You find me when you're ready to check out, I'll give you 25% off. Every <laughs> time. Every time. <laughs> That's so nice. <laughs> And he does the same thing. He's like, it's a billion dollar company. I think we can afford to give away a few discounts. And in my head, I'm like, nice guy. in my head, I'm like, bro, you've done this the last three times. I don't think corporate's going to be very happy if they find out you're giving out 25% off to everybody. Flashback to Luke running the blimpies when he was in high school. That's literally my thought process was like, it's a huge company. It wasn't a huge company. Business went under. I think it was because I was giving out too many free sandwiches, but that's literally the thought I had was like, well, they're huge. Like, they're huge. I mean, I can just give a few free sandwiches to my buddies. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all, it's all thievery. It's all stealing. But uh, anyway, that I think it would work. Here's the thing though. It's got like, you can't, some of that stuff. Well, no, you, you say I want to buy. So you're saying, I, you're saying I want to, that's, you got to get real lucky because you have to go get the thing. Like a lot of that stuff they have to hand to you, right? Yeah. So like a I video game would be really easy, I think, because they're all like identical and there's so many of them. They're just like stacks of those cases of just, and you could easily see like a kid, like people return video games all the time. They just don't want it. It's still packaged. God, Luke, man. Don't, get in don't get yourself in trouble. I see the wheels turning behind your eyes and I don't like it. Again, it's not for, I'm not doing this because money. I just, it's, I'm intrigued by things that since I've started this, that Pokemon, I'm, I've just started to get intrigued on what you can do and can't do in the real world, human to human. Yeah. It's a crazy thing. It's a crazy thing. <laughs> or you could just play the really, really dumb card and be like, I didn't know you couldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it work? <laughs> I'm an entrepreneur. Why does business. it work? <laughs> I think that Walmart took down some guys for like buying something cheap online and returning it for full price in the store or something. And they made like millions of dollars over on this. Holy shit. So I don't think, I think it's like prison time and like death penalty kind of shit. And what would that count as? Was that, would that just be fraud? I don't know what that, oh, there'd just be th ste stealing. It's the definitely stealing. I mean, like, if you have to ask stealing. yourself, is this uh, illegal before you do it? It's definitely illegal. <laughs> I know. Just what do you call it? Return stealing? That's hilarious. <laughs> I find you guilty of return stealing, and I sentence you to two years in prison. Your Honor, I didn't know this was illegal. 
<laughs> I just thought I was smarter than everybody. <laughs> so, anyway. Buy our merch. Don't return it. Luke, you muted yourself. You muted yourself. We know what we have to do. You have to... All right. He's doing it. He's he's on his own path now. Where are you, Chris? How's that, dude? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, dude. We got the C. Dude, we can do anything we set our minds to. See, I told you, once I knew that fix, it's game over. We got we got this all figured out. You're me a fucking techie. Buy our shirts, people. And actually, you know what? If someone wants to go to Target or Best Buy or wherever and give us that a shot, we would love to hear about it in one of our live events. You call in, you talk about it. You might be calling from jail. It might be your one phone call. Yep. But good content. And just again, for the record, we have no part in this whatsoever. Yeah, you didn't hear this shit from us. Uh, we have given you no ideas, and we don't uh, encourage any of it. We're going to have the FBI at our doors like, all right, you told them about the aliens. You told them about Bitcoin. <laughs> you're telling them all our fucking secrets. You told them about the return policies. We're going to lock you guys up for life. <laughs> the CIA the CIA guys, the CIA, CIA, the CIA guys are sitting at the Pentagon. They go, we got these two fucking geniuses at Omaha. <laughs> Dave and Luke. Well, what do they do? Are they like coders? Are they... What are they? Are they like super social media people? Like they got a podcast. They have twenty to subscribe subscribers. They're dancing on. <laughs> no, I guess uh, uh, they're I... trying to raise money for billboards, sir. Uh, that's all we really know about them. <laughs> they're like, oh fuck, billboards are the are the fucking advertising of the future. <laughs> These guys are on something. All they do is talk about Pokemon, Bitcoin, and getting away with shit. <laughs> and aliens. Who said? Who said them? Is it? Are they Russian? Are they German? Where are they from? <laughs> They're yeah. commies, dude. They're literally fucking commies. from Nebraska. They don't know any better. They literally have no brain power. Whew, buy our shirts. The electricity generated by their brains could power a small LED light for 10 seconds. Upwards of <laughs> half a minute. Uh, Bitcoin, we already told you. Dude, I literally have it on good authority that within five years, Bitcoin will be worth... What over a million forty. Over a million dollars within five years. Who do you know? I'll show you who I know. You got Donnie on speed dial. Also, are you invested in Bitcoin? Absolutely. Like big time bro time investments? Big bro oh, down, yeah. big bro time. Amen. Um check it out. It's going to be Huddy saying invest in Bitcoin. Bitcoin, 20,000, 30,000 by next year, 100,000 by next year, uh, a million in a couple of years. Can you can you help us reconcile this? Look again. No. Oh, shit. It's not, it's not as possible. They use a number of measures. They use technical analysis, logarithmic charts. They use the stocks to flow ratio from a guy called Plan B. People can find him on Twitter that's very well constructed. Um, I use... Um, a whole number of different yardsticks. Somebody sent me a report today that had been written about uh, Metcalfe's law and applying that, um, the adoption of Bitcoin and putting it in price. They all basically come to the same thing. They basically come to, we're going to be somewhere between 500 and a million dollars within five years. And we should be somewhere between 100 and 300 in the next million. 12 to 18 months. Heard a lot of different forecasts. 100,000, 300,000 in the next. What is this based on? He said basically every model you look at points to the same thing and it's going to fucking blow up. I know, but what, but what are the, can the models go wrong? Uh, not all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, do you think every <laughs> one of them's got to go right? <laughs> you think every single model is going to be wrong? That's like saying, no, who's going to win the Super Bowl? And Hold running on. through 20 different models, and every model says that the, the Chiefs are going to win the Super Bowl, and you're going to tell me the Chiefs aren't going to win the Super Bowl? Well, they, but that's the point. They Well, hold on. I get what you're saying, right? I agree with you that, like, projections certainly are worth looking at. 
But in the same way I asked you about those Martians, do you believe that's real? When you listen to that guy, are you listening to what he's saying and what you think he knows and what he's saying he knows? And are you going, yep, that's it? Okay. No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, even, I'm not even I'm not even trying to like like I'm not I was just I'm wondering. I'm, I'm a sucker I'm, because I believe it. No, but here's the fuckery, brother. You I don't think there I don't think there's gonna be that bad of a downside. Let's say let's say you buy one Bitcoin right now, right? If it tanks, it tanks, and you lose what? Right it's now you nine, lose it's, well, it's nineteen thousand dollars. It's eighteen two right now, actually. It's pretty okay. Hard. Okay. You lose eighteen grand right now. Oh shit. Like that's really gonna matter. You're gonna be dead. Yeah, like day. that's not that's not the that's not the end all be all if you're willing to look at the upside. I know. I agree. Are we and, blinded? Are and you what, blinded by the are you being duped by your like the potential? Do you think at all? Here's Again, my even, response to that. I understand that it's like a lot of unknowns, a, a huge downside. I mean, there's there's it's a gamble. Yeah. What I think is going to happen, though, it's going to be the hype stock all over again, where people just jump on the train, not knowing why they're jumping on the train, but that drives the value up. And if they right. can keep fucking pushing it, then who cares if it doesn't work? Who cares if it's all a sham? It's basically get your money out at the right time at that, like when it blows up again. Yeah, dude. Well, I mean, I, I, I think I'm all in on with you. I, once my Robin Hood transfer goes through, I'm, I'm just going for it. I don't need, I'm, I'm in. Dude. I, I think a lot of people are going to come around to the same thought. And if, if you're in early enough, you reap all the benefits and then you pull the fuck out. I just, it's, I, you know, yeah, I wonder because 2018, it crashed, but everything crashed in 2018. Yeah. But if you look, it's already, it already broke the record for the all time high, like within the last three months. I know that's why I just wanted to crash one more time, but then I'm, am I being greedy? I don't think it's going to crash. I think I think it might go not down crash. a little bit. I don't, sorry, I don't mean I, sorry. Yeah, not necessarily that. But do you think I'm? Do you think it's worth waiting for a guy who isn't in on it yet, or do you just go? I'm just gas pedal, dude. Because what you're you there's never a good time to get in on something. You just get in on stuff you believe in, and eventually it it becomes what you believe it will be. Right. Yeah. No, I, I, yep, I agree with that. Because you I could wait that. and miss the fucking train. That's like, so I, I'm in. Yes, I'm fucking in. video, fucking Apple, fucking everything. Yeah, right, 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 right. Also, another interesting thing about Bitcoin, I know we're probably over time, so we're, you know, we've already lost our viewers, but just between me and you, another interesting thing is Bitcoin is a finite resource. There's a, there will come a time where they're unable to mine more Bitcoin. It's sort of like the argument for land. They're not making more land, so that's why land is a very valuable asset to purchase. Bitcoin reaches a point where they can no longer mine more Bitcoin. So whoever holds Bitcoin, they're going to I feel like they're going to have a lot of fucking money. Well, I I understand I get that, but I'm wondering does it matter if other cryptos somehow can mine more, you know what I mean? Cuz like I read something that Ethereum can like mine half as it can bind double as much with like half as much like processing power or something yeah, like and that's that. Where it get, and that's where it gets way over my head. Honestly. But here's, here's, and again, all over my head, right? But here's the next part. Go with Bitcoin, but then look at where Ethereum is. Look at where Ripple and Litecoin are at. I know. 578 for Ethereum. Thousand, you need a couple thousand there. You can throw and get two Ethereum or two Litecoins. And what that could do, if yeah. they do those bit, I don't know where all these cryptos are going. And I... I I I'm, I think I'm with you where it's about the belief, and I I have to believe that this world is just becoming it's, it's it is becoming more digital. The currency is clearly becoming digital. We're all just yeah. Numbers. Do you think our Do you think our kids or our kids' kids will use dollar bills and, and I don't think so. They're just a number. I think yeah, it'll just be a it's number. Pieces of paper. It's so archaic, dude. I think what will actually happen is you'll be assigned a value. You'll go into the restaurant. You'll eat. And when you leave, that value is deducted. Yeah, but the well, here's what's interesting: the money money was based in gold, right? The value of paper money. Well, it, it was salt originally, bro. Like that's why they oh, say yeah. worth your weight in salt or whatever. And then well, yeah, what, 
Yeah, but yeah, okay, it's fine. Yeah, gold is the same as money because gold really doesn't have like a purpose. Salt was used for like preserving things. It had value. And They're then, just like, all imaginary, intangible things that we assign value to and that becomes a financial system. And that's where I've heard Bitcoin be, I've heard it compared to gold. Yeah. It's just a, it's imaginary, I mean, it's not even, ima it's not imaginary, but uh, yes, right, it is imaginary. It's, yeah, it's the a value currency. system is going to move to something digital. Because we will and think about it from the government's perspective. They want to be able to track every single thing that we purchase right now. You can go buy a gun or cocaine or weed or anything with $500 bills with cash and, and never be traced. Yeah. If that moves to a digital system, they can track everything. They, they know, well, he spent $500 to Pablo Escobar. What, what, what the fuck was that exchange? Like what, what was he buying there? You know, like they can track everything. So you spend half a Bitcoin on the good good. Can you explain what that means? <laughs> yeah. It's right here uh, in your ledger. I can see it right here. I'm not sure what the, the eggplant emoji wet sign is. Because here in the ledger, it says, make sure Mr. R Rimpton doesn't wake up half a Bitcoin. What does that mean, sir? What What did you mean by that? Did you, did you kill him? What? He has, well, he had a sleeping problem. I just want to make <laughs> sure. <laughs> So anyway, I mean, I, I do believe in Bitcoin as like douchey and like stereotypically like it gets a bad rap. I think that there's a lot of money to be had in it. Dude, it's but well, it's funny. Like when you like when you like douchey and stereotypical, those are the like that's the it's the Amazon, the fucking Apple, the te those are all the douchey stereotypical. And what have they done? All they've done is gone up and all the people who've given a shit who cared about them have made shit tons of money. So you can call them douches. You know what I mean? Like I'm agreeing, but like, that's what I'm saying. Like people want to get mad at the people who like are on these trains, but I don't, it's like, what, I don't, I'll what get mad want? at people on pyramid scheme trends. I'll get mad at people on things that are yeah. blatantly stupid, but this is, this is only stupid because it's a gamble and I can't, I'm, I'm a gambler. I'm sorry. Me too, Kenny. Me too. Kenny Rogers. Great song. Um, so anyway, let's, let's tell the folks good night. We love you. Thank you for joining in. If you were still here, we probably just made your asses rich, but you're probably not still here. <laughs> Sounds great. Love you all. Bye, everybody. Good night. Fuck, dude, I didn't stop recording. I just ended it here. Stop. <laughs> Our fans are sick.